Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here to share a scripture. I believe God wanted me to read in order to remind all of us what time it is. Now, <laughs> it may be a little weird, but sometimes God just wants us to read his word. It speaks for, him, for itself. Matthew chapter 24. Starting at 1 through 14. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple. And his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning. Of sorrows then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Whoa, that's a trip. We don't realize how close we are to the end, do we? We don't get it. But I say to you this. We have to watch. We have to pray. We have to live holy. This is not the time to play. This is not the time to pussyfoot around, to play on both sides of the fence. Make up your minds. The end draweth nigh. Make up your minds. Now we know Jesus will come before the end. We know that. But will you be ready? You don't know that. Will you be ready? Will any of us be ready? Or just a few. And why? What are you doing that would make you not ready? You know there's a scripture where Jesus says. He says this. Depart from me. Ye that work. Iniquity. Oh this is Pat's two cents. I'm sorry. I changed channels. Because what he's saying is. He's. I'll go back a little bit. He says, many of you shall come to me and you will say, haven't I prophesied in your name? Haven't I done one many wondrous things? And in other words, we serve the Lord in mighty ways, supernatural ways with power, people getting healed, raised from the dead, all of that. But then he comes to this and says, and then I will say unto you, Depart from me, 
ye that work iniquity. Mm. Can you imagine Jesus telling you, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity? Now see, some of you guys, you think, oh, well, I'm not working iniquity. I go to church every week. I'm an elder. I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a deacon. I'm the head of the women's department. I'm head of the men's group. Yeah, well, but what are you doing in between weekends? Who are you slipping under the sheets with? Who are you cussing out in the middle of the week? Who are you backstabbing? Yeah, I think it's time to wake up and smell the coffee. Jesus says, watch and pray. It is time to be sober, not to sleep. You hear me? Get ready. If you're not ready, get ready. If your clothes are dirty, change your clothes. If you're dirty, take a bath. Wash yourself by the word of God. We all need to do this, you guys. We cannot assume that I'm okay, you're okay, it's all okay. No. We can't take that chance. We have to get on top of our game now. Because the day draws very near. Again, I ask you. Are you ready?